Hello, my name is Stacy Bidwell and I'm a respiratory therapist with Ohio Health Pulmonary Rehabilitation. In this presentation, we will be talking about lung disease. There are many diseases of the lungs, but all of them can be divided into two main categories, obstructive and restrictive lung disease. Obstructive lung diseases are the ones you have probably most heard of. COPD, which stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, includes two diseases, emphysema and chronic bronchitis. A COPD, along with asthma, are the most common examples of obstructive lung diseases, although there are others. In obstructive lung disease, airflow is blocked or obstructed from exiting the lungs. This is due to narrowing of the airways and or damage to the air sacs. Obstructed airflow can lead to air trapping and overinflation of the lungs. The more air trapping and overinflation that occurs, the more difficult it is for the lungs to do their job and the more difficulty breathing a person will experience. Diagnosis of these diseases is done by your physician who will do a physical exam and may order a variety of tests, such as pulmonary function tests, a chest x-ray, and blood work, among others. Smoking is a primary cause of obstructive lung diseases, although asthma is caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Like obstructive lung disease, there are various types of restrictive lung diseases. But what these diseases have in common is that they prevent the lungs from being able to expand fully. In some restrictive lung diseases, scarring occurs in the lungs, causing them to become stiff and preventing the efficient exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Diagnosis of these diseases is basically the same, by physical exam and tests ordered by your physician, although different testing may be required for specific disease diagnosis. Common examples of restrictive lung diseases are pulmonary fibrosis, sarcoidosis, lung cancer, pneumonia, and obesity. Causes vary with some being linked to environmental exposures, chronic infection, and autoimmune diseases, while others have no specific cause that can be identified. Patients may experience some of the same symptoms with both categories of diseases, although each person may experience different symptoms and symptom severity. You and your physician cr can create a plan tailored for you that includes medications, smoking cessation, supplemental oxygen if needed, and an overall healthy lifestyle that will help control your symptoms and improve your quality of life. Pulmonary rehabilitation is an important part of this plan. This concludes today's presentation on lung diseases. If you have more specific questions related to your disease, please feel free to contact your pulmonary rehab team member. We're more than happy to provide you with additional information.